Instagram. Oh no, I think it was TikTok. Someone sent me a direct message and they asked, do I have anything for bloating? So this is acupressure for bloating. But before I talk about it, actually bloat digestion, I remember uh, for those of us, uh, you guys in the Facebook group, I did a poll, how many people want to see acupressure for chronic pain, bloating, digestive issues, and then fertility. And a majority of you guys said you want to know for chronic pain. But every once in a while, sometimes I'll, I'll mix it up. I'll do some other things about other videos as well. And today I had an interesting question about bloating. So someone from TikTok messaged me and they asked me, hey, I suffer from really bad bloating. Is there anything you can do? So before I go on prescribing things and giving uh, my opinion, uh, usually bloating, digestive issues, majority of it, a lot of it, to be honest, it can be controlled through diet. Most of it is diet. It can be something as simple as just cutting out dairy because dairy is an inflammatory. It makes your gut inflamed, the colon. Um, if you just watch some health documentaries or do some reading, you'll, you'll, you'll realize that uh, I actually saw a Facebook video uh, about a doctor talking about what milk was actually meant for. Milk was actually meant for a baby calf that's meant to grow over 200 pounds in less than six months or less than a year, something like that. So it's not meant for human consumption. So if you're putting the stuff like dairy, cow's milk into your body day in, day out, drinking two to three glasses, milk does a body good. You know, everyone remembers those milk ads from the from the old, from the 80s. If you drink your milk, uh, you know, it'll make your bones strong. And, and research actually says it actually robs your bone of calcium. It's kind of crazy because you're, uh, the reason being is, is it actually, because it, it's so much calcium, it forces your body to your your body to go overdrive and actually expel it so the kidneys and the liver need to detox so you actually rob your body of calcium so uh another question that people do ask me well if you don't drink milk where do you get your calcium from well the answer is greens broccoli kale huge sources of calcium just do a quick google search of how to get calcium and you'll, you'll find that like oh my god i've been lying to my whole life I, I stopped drinking milk recently and i was like oh my, my bloating went away uh my gas went away i was like but you know I, 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 and i must admit i am asian so asians there's a genetic component to it. Asians do tend to be uh, lactose intolerant as well. But if you are experiencing bloating on a daily basis, uh, two things I do recommend is cut out the cold ice cold drinks, especially during the winter time and also uh, the summertime as well. Now I'm not saying cut out all cold drinks completely. Just give it a try, two weeks, hear me out. If you try for two weeks and your bloating doesn't go away, then probably get your gut checked. But most of the time, because I myself experienced this um, Growing up in America, everything is in a big, served in a big jug of cold ice, Coke, uh, soda, drinks. Everything is cold. And when I moved to China, I and, and I, I had digestive issues. I had chronic, I thought I had chronic digestive issues my entire life until I moved to China and there was no access to ice. There was no access to ice cold Coke. You can only, well, you had Coke, but it wasn't served in ice in the winter time. So once I stopped drinking this cold, that was making my stomach inflamed and, and my digestion uh, compromised, I stopped it. I started drinking room temperature water or even hot tea because they don't have a lot of ice over there in southern China where I was living. And I noticed like, oh, wait a minute, there's probably nothing wrong with my gut at all. Like all of a sudden, 80 to 99% of the bloating actually went away. I was actually getting ready to do uh, all sorts of colonoscopies and exams and go to gut specialists and I could see what was going on because I was getting bloating, diarrhea, uh, and it was on the road to IBS. Like IBS, is irritable bowel syndrome, that's a fancy word for I don't know when the doctor tells you you have IBS. But in, in, according to Chinese medicine, there are many reasons for that. In Chinese medicine, that's your digestion. That's your digestion telling you, hey, something is seriously wrong with your diet. There's too much cold. There's too much greasy food, there's too much deep fried food, there's too much of something going on. And by going through a Chinese medicine practitioner, they will look at it from a different angle. And there's no right or wrong, it's just what works for you. So uh, I, I, I digress a bit, but if you do, if you are experiencing bloating or digestive issues, definitely have a, a definitely give that a try. Just uh, hear me out, sounds a little bit crazy, but try cutting out ice cold drinks for two weeks and cutting out dairy. And let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Send me a message. Say, hey, I tried it. It worked. Hey, I tried it. It's blown. It didn't work. But there's no right answer for everyone. Just give that a try. For me and the patients I've seen, as soon as they make those small tweaks, they paid off in huge dividends. And that could save you thousands of dollars and, and a lot of colonoscopy pain if you just give it a try. So something that can, you can assist with that is an acupressure point 
uh, in between your toes. So take, say this is your big toe here and your second and your third toe. In between your second and third toe, there's gonna be two tendons that lie in between here. And if you just press in between, and if you watch any of the previous videos, acupressure is not a specific point. It's actually an area. So this nerve pathway here, that's actually the stomach pathway. It goes all the way from your leg, all the way up, to, up your shin, down your in your thigh, all the way up to your abdomen as well. So from here, this is a very strong point. This is called the stomach channel right here. And if you just press in between your second and third toe, Right here, this, in between these two, then this entire area, 30 to 15 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, I'm sorry, 15 to 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, all along this entire area. You can do both legs, both feet, sorry. You can do both feet and see if that bloating has subsided. So uh, a lot of times, that a lot of do, patients that do have bloating, that tell me that works right away. It should work probably within a couple minutes time. Sometimes you will experience something called a delayed response. It may kick in probably the next day or a couple hours later, a couple minutes later, but majority of the time that there should be an instant response. Uh, another thing that you can try if the bloating doesn't go away is you can try this point on your hand right here. This is your uh, thumb and your index finger and you just press over here uh, in this middle area and you just press this middle area here. This represents digestion, so press here. 15 to 30 seconds just in this entire area. This is the large intestine per pathway. So uh, there you have it. You've got two points that you can try in between the second and third toe, that this tendon area here, and also this area here for digestion as well. So as always, if you guys have any questions, please post in the comments and always happy to answer if you guys have more questions. Uh, most importantly, give the diet stuff a try. Uh, it might, I might work, change my life. So let me know if it helps. Take care, guys.